pretty loud in here. Garrett says I'm not talking loud, but I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me. Okay. So we are at the Grove. No, because you said you didn't want to vlog, so you can't show me. I'm going to show you what you can hear. I'm going to show you what it sounds like, because you don't got to edit it. So I just got to Moreland Avenue for um, during my lunch break um, outside of Barnes and Nobles classic meeting spot um, this is where I met up with Brandon that one vlog this is where I pretty much meet everybody like if I want to meet in between like Atlanta and other places but today I'm meeting with the cross um, I have a friend of a friend um, decided that she was gonna help us out and uh, make a unity cross for the uh, ceremony so I'm meeting up with her to get the unity cross now and um, yeah let's just day one five days to go until marriage so Ashley you want to say anything I'm getting married in a few days huh I'm getting married in a few days yeah are you excited yeah, I am excited. At first I was nervous, 
But then I took off the countdown off my phone, and ever since I took the countdown off, I've been feeling better. Alright. I'm hanging out but with you. I don't, huh? I don't even know how many days it is, really. It's five. Hi. But um, no, I'm gonna hang out with Ashley uh, later today, so you'll see Ashley later on in the, in this day. I may look crazy. I'm trying to save my pretty self for the wedding. I look crazy. Get married. You're great. Thank you. It's good of you. Oh, okay. This is my favorite time. Very nice. Would you marry me? Oh, well, I don't know if my husband would like that, but. I don't think my boyfriend would like that either. Hey, I'm sure she'll say yes. She always said yes. We will hope she said yes if you come to get a suit. She gotta say, I do know. That's, that's the next step. I'd be so mad if she said no. <laughs> Alright, let's ride. I'll ride with this. Alrighty. I just got Gas. <laughs> so we don't have to stop as 
often. We haven't eaten yet. All we ate was oatmeal today. But that oatmeal was clutch, though. It was clutch. If we didn't have that oatmeal, what would you have ate? Three different types of sky. You got blue sky, cloudy sky, dark yeah. sky. Dark. Yeah. The dark side. We came from the dark side into the light. Kind of, sort of. Turn. Light turn. Light turn. Light turn. Light turn. Cloudy. But yeah, man. So, you know, just cruising, literally. Yeah. Literally. Cruising. <laughs> I just want to say. What up, Fallon? What's good, man? You excited to be here? You're not even getting in here, dude. I know how to work the remote. So. <laughs> I know how to remote the remote. This is the Airbnb that Justin found out here in Savannah. Hi. Hi. Slight work. You want to give a torque, please? So, you know what I'm saying? Right here. This is the bathroom. You know what I mean? See, then right here, it's the movie room. That's where we watch movies at, you know what I mean? This right here, this is where no action goes down at. So, yeah, this pretty much is where we go to sleep. No TV, we don't watch TV, but we watch movies. Follow me over here, through the movie room. We got another bedroom. This the master, you know. Chill, chillax, relax. You know what I'm saying? This is another room right here. You know, we chill over here too. It's like when we just want to get away, you know. Yeah, man. So, welcome to our crib. You know, thanks, thank y'all for coming out. You know what I mean? Hope y'all enjoyed the crib. Hope y'all come back out. You know, next time I, we might throw some stuff on the grill. You know, we got the pool table at, in the other in the other uh, spot downstairs. So next time y'all come, man, you know, have some fun. Show them the pool table. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I uh, oh. take care of my brother. Oh. <laughs> got to say, good man, Garrett. I just want to say I love you. Thank you. Oh. Um, and I wish y'all the best of luck in everything. Uh, y'all marriage, success, everything. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it. So, like, I remember when Gary used to talk about Ashley at school. Like, before she was even there. And then she came, and they, they just had a bond, and I just knew from Like, they wanted to be there. And it's just great to finally see it come to fruition. And I just hope y'all I just want to say that uh, I appreciate y'all. Like y'all are a really big inspiration. You know, like as far as being a successful black couple, you know, uh, y'all show y'all's patience because y'all tried to put y'all away. Y'all took a break. Y'all got yourself together. Y'all found God, and y'all came back and y'all showed that through doing it the right way that it is possible. So I just appreciate y'all for you know sticking through it and making it happen. It is a blessing to be able to see that it is possible for God to bring two people together. I wish you guys the best of your journey. Thank you. short and spicy. But I just want to say thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Fair, for 
um, having this where everybody could come together as a family, you know, to can meet each other again, spend a little time with each other, and that's wonderful. Garrett, welcome to the family. You know, I got my first son. <laughs> Two girls, but I always say when everybody says, Oh, you only have two girls. I said, Don't worry, I'll get the sons after, and they start coming in now. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just want to say, I wish you guys the best in everything. Thank you. Know, you. Just keep focus, <sighs> keep focus, keep looking ahead. People are going to give advice. But you guys have to take the best advice from the Lord. Let the Lord be your guide. Let him be the one to lead you when people say, do it this way. You know, I, I've learned now, and as you get older, as I am, you kind of learn things as you go older. And I'm learning now to stop, take a breath, think it over before I give an answer. And another thing is you guys gonna learn that life is not gonna be always a bunch of losses. There are gonna be rough days, there are gonna be tough days, there are gonna be days when you're gonna say to Garrett, listen, I don't wanna talk now. For me, I shut down. I used to shut down on him a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it works in some ways because sometimes when you shut down you pull yourself apart but then you don't have to know to pull yourself back you got to come you got to know to apologize to each other too there are going to be days when you don't want to talk and, but then you got to come to yourself and say you know what we got to work this out and another thing I want to tell you guys the D word don't let it be part of your vocabulary. Not from no time at all. And if anyone come to your house and talking that B word, you put them out in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All the best, I get it. I love you, Ashley, already. And I'm happy to let you be a part of, of the family. Embrace you. Come on, girl. You're mine now. <laughs> so, um, and guess what? I'll adopt your family too. Adopt your family as well. So now I got, I got Abby and I got Larry and I got Larry. But um, I just I just want to give me a moment, y'all. I've had a very emotional last four or five days. I'm kind of high strung right now, and I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. I'll probably go to me. I won't cry tomorrow. I promise I won't cry tomorrow. <laughs> but this is significant to me because it's my baby. You'll always be my baby. Seriously. I'm sorry. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> officially adulting <laughs> and in doing so right respect her she is your number one now you guys are about to be unified together and you unfortunately I even though I was the first girlfriend <laughs> she actually comes first and always remember that Okay, no matter what, no matter what people say to you, all the naysayers, I know you was kind of discouraged because you're like, I don't want to hear all that about the ball and chain and all that kind of stuff because people are being negative in their, in their, uh, as you journey down this road, it's not a bad thing. Marriage is not a bad thing. It really isn't. You have your ups and you have your downs. You, you know, the valleys, the peaks, the, all of that. But I promise you, at the end of the day, as you get your successes and, and your achievements, 
It is so great to come home and be able to tell that person who is your sidekick. Mm -hmm. You know, it is, and I'm really getting personal here for a moment. It's no different than my moment this, this these last two, three days, which has been very stressful because I got family coming in and 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 all that and trying to do this and do that. And um, I had to stop while I was getting my nails done, thanks to my daughter. <laughs> but I was sitting there getting my nails done and I finally had a moment of quiet. And it was then that I recognized that if it had not been for then, your daddy, I would have probably lost my mind in the last few days. That's what marriage is about. So I sent him a text and I said, you know what, I'm sorry in my frustration, but thank you for being my teammate. And sometimes you just have to stop and you have to recognize your wife that she's your teammate. She's in it for the all. No matter if you're arguing, no matter if you're fussing, remember that's the one that got your back. And I really believe in that ride or die thing. So I, don't know, folks. I don't. I don't. Because you, as a man, should never put her in a situation where she has to be a ride or die. So you don't put her in that situation where she has to say, oh, I'm his ride or die. And Ashley, don't put no money on no commentary. <laughs> if he goes down, don't get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, be a man. Men, don't ever put a, don't, don't put a woman in a situation where she has to be a ride or die. You know what? If you're out there doing something you ain't supposed to be doing, you need to remember your home. Mm -hmm. It ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Aww. My groom. I am. And this is my wife. Well, I'm your bride. Tomorrow I'm your wife. No, you're my wife. We're at our rehearsals in our right now. I'm okay now. Uh, it was it was really hectic before, like, just all running around trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat, where I'm at, where I'm going. But like now, everything's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. And it'll probably be the same tomorrow. There will probably be a moment where it's like yeah, I'm fine, but before then, it, it'll probably be really hectic. But it comes with the territory. Right now I'm okay too. It's, um, the hard part is wrapping your whole mind around everything and everything that's happening. That's pretty tough because there's a lot that's happening besides a wedding and an actual marriage that's happening. That's cool though. I'm not yeah. worried about that. The marriage is cool. The wedding is a tough thing. Everybody's asking questions and it's like, oh, no, I don't know. But um, hearing other people that give their toes and congratulating being proud of them, that helps a lot. It helps us feel better. It helps us feel like not only are we, not only we're, that we're doing the right thing, but um, other people are happy for us, so we should be happy for ourselves. So, yeah. It's really nice. Thank you. What you got? When I got the uh man, I got the black with the uh, I don't know if that gold or uh, brown or khaki, but it's gonna get worn and worn, and I'm be looking like a snack. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Derek's here, by the way. Yeah, I pulled up finally. You should have seen me at the. Now show him. Now that it's clear. Yo, how did you get this thing out? Oh, there it goes. No. What you got? Oh, they got. Now you know I got that gold. That's how I live my life. Go Jane. AU. You already know what I mean. What you got? got? The wood grain. Of course, it's the dark wood grain. <laughs> Let me try to focus on that real quick. Like, noise. Noise. Oh. What Whatever. you got, Khalif? I, I got that midnight, that black on black. Nice. That thing right there, boy. That thing crazy. Woo. We didn't shoot the wedding. We did not shoot the wedding. 
sorry guys it's kind of crazy like if you if you number one if you made it this far in the video thank you um, that was a long video I'm editing it right now so I know how long it is and I appreciate y'all for watching this far but like she said we didn't shoot the wedding so if you watch if you're watching and you're waiting for the wedding I'm sorry we are we are sorry for real honestly on that day I was not thinking about the vlog I was thinking about not tripping over my dress I was thinking about not ripping that veil I was thinking about making sure I had my flowers and all this other stuff. My eyelash was falling off, trying to make sure that didn't fall off completely. I only had one eyelash in all my pictures. Those are the things I was thinking about. I was just trying yeah. to enjoy the day. Y'all saw everything that went before that day. So I was doing a whole lot that whole week. So when the actual day of the wedding came, it's just like, I'm chilling, man. And I, I was thinking about y'all though. I'm not gonna act like I wasn't thinking about y'all. But I was thinking about this one more than anything else. So it was like, shoot the vlog, enjoy the wedding. I chose yeah, to enjoy the wedding. Shoot the vlog, watch my bride trip and fall down some stairs over her dress. Mm, what do you think? What? If you were shooting the vlog, you would have wouldn't have been able to help me with my dress and stuff. I guess. Yeah. But before you cut off the video and go all crazy, we have a lot of stuff that we have coming. Like, this is more than just a marriage. This is ministry. Mm -hmm. So, I have a very important announcement to give to you guys in regards to this marriage ministry. I will let my wife <laughs> say what it is. So, Gary and I have been talking about this for a long time. And we have decided that we are going to shoot a podcast, Just record, a podcast. record a podcast entitled Year One. Year One. And the podcast will basically chronicle um, our first year of marriage. Ooh, I know. Hard. Oh, it's very hard. First year of marriage, and we're going to have different topics for every podcast that we do. So make sure you guys tune into that because it's going to be very interesting and very, um, what's the word? Not uncut, but uncensored. But we don't curse. We don't curse, but it's going to be very honest. Yeah. And everything that happened at the wedding, we're going to be talking about on that first episode. Mm -hmm. So everything that you didn't see in this vlog, you will hear in that first podcast of year one. So if you have any um, topics you may want us to talk about or anything like that, leave that in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. I haven't said that in <laughs> ages. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry that we didn't shoot the wedding, but we will be talking about it in our podcast year one, which is coming soon. Uh, I'll, of course, I'll let you know all the links. The vlog that's coming after this is, what happened after the wedding? Our honeymoon. The Yay. honeymoon vlog. Our so, honeymoon blank. So I don't know what Ashley's been drinking today, <laughs> but be on the lookout be on the listen out whatever they say for podcasts and uh thank you again for watching if you're still watching this this is probably close to like 30 minutes goodness gracious and they're still watching they're well, dedicated well i do want to say thank you for supporting us throughout our engagement and even wanting to look at the wedding vlog um we do apologize for not shooting it but thank you still for caring enough to even see um maybe we should at least put one picture in there I don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> It'll definitely be in the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the podcast. That's where everything. And then we got more vlogs. We got podcasts. I just dropped a book called Detox. That yes, link will be in the bio. The lady who made the Unity Cross. That'll be in the bio. There's all. There's so much stuff coming. It's like we yeah. have a lot of work. Oh, we're shooting. Uh, I recorded a song for Ashley. And so we're going to shoot a music video for that. So that's coming. Can I talk about that for a second? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. This video already going long. Yeah. Just know we got a lot coming in our relationship mm -hmm. and on this vlog. 
and in our podcast, which is coming soon. Yeah. Follow us on social media. Follow me at G D O T Bless. It's a G dot Bless. Ashley at Tony T O N I dot Gilliam G U I L L A U M E. Her page is protected, so it's going to go through us before she accepts you. So if you're some thirsty dude, trust, I will know. I will know before. (laughs) But more than marriage is ministry. Amen. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. Should we give them a kiss goodbye? No. Yeah, let's give them a kiss. We have a kiss on the vlog. Yeah. All right, guys, don't don't get too excited. All right, bye. <laughs>